Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafra and in this 14th video class of AIMN, we will understand model based reflex agents. Starting with the name, why it is called model based reflex agent? See for these agents, its current state is stored inside the agent maintaining some kind of structure that describes the part of the world which cannot be seen and this knowledge about how the world works is called model of the world and hence the name is model based reflex agent. In the previous video class, we discussed simple reflex agents which make decisions only based on the current percept or what they can observe right at that moment. However, model based reflex agents are a bit more advanced. They use something called an internal state to keep the track of information they can't see directly at any given moment. And this internal state allows the agent to make better decisions in partially observable environments. So think of it like a memory of recent events that help guide its choices. Okay, so let us start. So what exactly is a model based reflex agent? Unlike simple reflex agents, model based agents don't just rely on the current input. They also use a model of the world to interpret that input. And this model based approach lets them handle situations with partial observability meaning that they cannot always see the whole picture and still they can work well. For example, in a self-driving car, the agent might not be able to see all the vehicles around it at once. The model helps it predict where other cars might be or how they might move, allowing it to make more informed decisions. And this internal state is updated continuously as the agent observes new data from its surroundings. And how is the model-based agent different from simple reflex agent? So this figure shows the block diagram of a simple reflex agent. Simple reflex agents act only based on the current input without the memory of the past events. They just rely on condition action rules. Okay, they do not have any internal memory. Whereas this figure shows a model based reflex agent. It uses memory or the internal state and a basic model of the world to track past inputs and make more informed decisions. So as we can see here, the simple reflex agent acts only on the current percept or single input and takes the action using actuators while the model based reflex agent considers the current percepts using the sensors plus the internal state before taking any action using actuators. And so these model based reflex agents make more informed and advanced decisions as compared to the simple reflex agents. Okay, let's go ahead and understand how does model based reflex agent work. But before that, let us understand why model based reflex agents are required. See in real world, there is a challenge that agents do not have complete knowledge of the world around them. That is, the world is partially observable. For example, a self-driving car agent can't see every vehicle on the road at once, right? So for such complex scenarios, we need a model based reflex agent. Now let's understand how this model based reflex agent works. First, the agent receives input from its environment like the position of nearby cars or changes in the traffic lights. It then updates its internal state based on the model of how the world works. This model includes rules like if the light is red, vehicles are likely to stop or if a car was in a left lane, it's probably still nearby if I can't see it. For example, this car is not visible to this agent currently, but its state such as location or speed is stored in the memory of the agent. So the agent combines this new information with what it already knows, forming a best guess about the current state of all the vehicles. Then it selects the most appropriate action like slowing down if it detects a possible obstacle. This process allows the agent to respond to complex scenarios without needing full visibility of everything around it. So the model based reflex agent is suitable even for the partially observable environment unlike simple reflex agent okay and as the time passes the agent receives new information updating its internal state and this makes its actions smarter this means that this model based reflex agent is a good artificial intelligent or a smart artificial intelligent system okay now this model based reflex agent has one more interesting feature up to this point we have discussed how agents track their environment to make decisions but their internal state can actually go beyond just tracking the physical world around them beyond just knowing where the agent is or what it sees right now model based reflex agents can also store goals plans and intentions this is what we mean by going beyond physical reality for example, let's consider a taxi. This taxi agent 
may have a rule to refuel on the way home unless its fuel is at least half full so this rule depends on more than just the current state of the fuel gauge or the current location it also considers a goal getting home with enough fuel so the key idea here is that the agent's internal state doesn't just describe the physical world around it it also includes the agent's intentions or plans like where it plans to go next or any steps it has planned for the journey so this flexibility is what allows model based reflex agents to make more sophisticated decisions than simple reflex agents who only responds to the immediate surroundings okay here are a few real world examples of model based reflex agents imagine a self driving car on the road it can't see everything at once but it remembers where other cars were a moment ago and it can predict that a car behind it is likely to get closer if it just changed lanes another example is a security robot that patrols a building if it hears a sound from an area it can't see it can use its internal state to remember the last known positions of potential intruders and respond accordingly and these examples show how model based agents can handle incomplete information to make better decisions model based reflex agents have several advantages they handle partial observability better than simple reflex agents as they retain context from the previous observations and this also makes them better suited for complex tasks like driving or surveillance where the agent can't always see the entire environment however they have limitations also they may still struggle with environments that change unpredictably or situations that require extensive planning or reasoning additionally creating and maintaining an accurate model can be challenging and requires more computational power so in conclusion we can see that model based reflex agents are a significant step up from simple reflex agents and by maintaining an internal state and using a model of the world they can make better decisions in partially observable environments also this model based approach is essential for applications where the agent needs context or memory of past events to operate effectively like in autonomous driving or security monitoring in further video classes we will explore even more advanced agent types that built up on these concepts such as goal based agents and utility based agents so that is all for this video class thank you very much